Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this 3D block text using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.8.2. So before we start, we need to create a new document. For that, we go to File, New. And I got my preset already done. Uh, it's uh, 1080p, so it's 10, 1920 by 1080 with background. If not, uh, you can create your own, basically change the size of the width, height, DPI, and all that. And then you click on that plus sign and you create a new preset. If you already have this one, you can use it. And if you have anything else you can use, anyone will do. So for our case, uh, I'm going to use this one and i'm going to click on create so now that i have the new document before we continue just remember like always let's go to view and make sure that you have show guides show rulers show context toolbar and show toolbar selected good with that out of the way let's get started perfect the first thing uh, thing that i think that i need to do is to create a text for that i'm going to use my artistic tool uh, text tool i'm going to click select it click and drag and i'm going to type the word text i'm going to select my selection tool and come in here and let's go to the top and the one that i'm going to use for this one it needs to be quite let's see candle i think this one candle is fine basically we need something that is beefier that is has some meat that we can work and the best kind of font are the fonts that are uh, completely uh, basically sun serif and they're quite wrecked it's easy to work with them so now that i got them there first i'm going to convert it into curve then i'm going to select one by one and this one uh, let's press and hold shift and i'm going to move it a little bit closer this one exactly the same and this one exactly the same let's get it there perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of them and let's come to the top to our uh, to uh, to our toolbar and select add so we create just an one curve let's move it away from the group let's select the group and we can delete it perfect now that we have that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a copy for that is command j and i'm going to click and drag it in diagonal so basically it's down and right and i'm going to move it somewhere there i think they will be fine I'm going to take this one that should be at the top. I'm going to move it to the top and I'm going to change the color. Uh, for now, let's put something something reddish or something yellowish. I, I think it's something that will be fine. Perfect. Now that we have that, now we need to start creating the illusion that this is a 3D. So to do that, basically, is we need to um make a union in between these diagonal lines that we have in here okay so some of them as you can see in there is no problem we already have it but in there is empty in there is empty there is empty empty and so on and so forth okay now to do that i'm going to do something very simple i'm coming here i'm going to select my pen tool so first of all remember here at the top to get your uh, alignment um your sorry your snapping uh, activated selected so i'm coming today i'm going to click whoop, hold on, sorry about that that one there and i'm going to click in this one there and then i'm going to do something like this just a square okay the part the important part is that this triangle basically is completely covered so I'm going to do the same for this one. Doesn't need to be perfect in that way, but what we need is this and then that one there, that one there, there and make a square. So I'm going to do exactly the same for all of them. 
as you can see so basically what we are doing is we are completely in complete we close that gap that we have in there i think it there is fine this one is going to be fine there as well very simple uh, this one as well okay this one as well okay this one not we already have it this side here as well and this one as well and there we go something like this this one needs to go to that one there and let's move this one in there in there and i need this one if i'm not mistaken that one is the last one okay so now we have all those ones perfect 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 now what i'm going to do is i'm going here coming here to my layers and i'm going to click and select all of them and now we with those ones all selected in our geometry let's click add so now it becomes one and i'm going to give the field color of black so all of them are the same then i'm going to hit uh, command and select the the one that is at the bottom okay and now i'm going to hit add again so now it becomes one and then i'm going to move it down so now if i use this as you can see now we start seeing our text is in 3d okay oh sorry it's not in 3d it's the illusion that is on tree in 3d now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give to our text i'm going here to my effects and i'm going to use the outline and i'm going to give it another color let's give it something more reddish i think it's somewhere there something like that will be fine and i'm going to increase the radius not too much maybe one pixel two pixels three pixels I think uh, let's make it three pixels let me click and drag there three pixels and I'm going to use inside so now when you see this and you sorry when you uh, when you zoom in you can see the border there now we need to give this border basically a 3d look to do that basically what you use is the inner shadow in that way with the shadow is what is going to give you the, give you the illusion of the 3d so if i click in there on my uh, sorry inner shadow that one there i was clicking <laughs> something else so the angle is very important and you will see later on basically what happened is this if you look at the text and you see the let me see if i can use this the basically the light is coming in this direction okay you are going to have some shade if i zoom in you are going to have some shade in at the top and some shade in there but not in the uh, or on this side uh, let me i don't know if i'm explaining myself but if you are doing it from here for example you are going to have shade coming all the way there but not in this in these areas that i'm marking in there so always need you have to have present in your mind from where the light is coming so let me select all these and delete because i don't need them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the coming from the top from right to left so my angle needs to change and i'm going to put it at 247 uh what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put the opacity to the maximum i'm going to give it some radius and then the offset so the offset is telling you how much goes in okay and as you can see for example there seems like it's already carved so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it somewhere there 
and intensity and the radius uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller okay so as you can see now you have the shade day and the shade day let me give it a little bit more I think it 225 that one will be fine so as you can see now opa, sorry about that uh, this one here so basically as you can see it gives the illusion that is actually get it in and this one that I got here uh, I think uh, I made a mistake in here with the border hmm. okay let me fix it and I don't know I know what I can do basically this one there the effect give me the effects the outline inside I'm going to go center and there we go so perfect basically there we have that part now uh, it looks 3d but it's missing something and um let me tell you what is missing actually is underneath is each of these letters this horizontal part it should be darker so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that part and i'm going to change the color i'm going to make it a little bit lighter something like that there we go and now i'm going to create the illusion that i got something there or they are actually darker so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my pen tool back again and i'm going to basically follow this like this and then okay my machine just crashed so i need to start part of this again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the shades or the mm, darker parts and I'm, I'm just going to do it um, so you can you can see but there is no much explanation and let me uh, speed it up the process so I'm going to start just now and I'll see you when I finish so see you in just a moment okay so now that we have all that done now we have the well, looks like is actually um, 3d and then we can actually make it a little bit something like that i think is is more realistic and uh, let me see yeah so now you as you can see it gives you the illusion that this is a 3d block type of text uh, what I'm going to do is I'm click and drag to select everything. I'm going to group it and like always I'm going to change the sorry, I'm going to change the background. I'm going to make it something like that. Let's make it the um switches. Let me see in what color do we have here that I really like, something like that. Yeah, we can go to color and make it a little bit less prominent and let me so yeah basically ah, let's change this color because actually what happened is something on the bluish side something like that sorry first that then we go there uh, let me i don't know something in the, that kind of color or bluish i think uh, on the blue side i like it more and then make it a little bit something like this a little bit clearer there we go something like that 
So... So, okay, I think that's it for this video. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, if you did, please remember to subscribe, to give the thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you have any comment or any suggestion, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Thanks to all the people that have subscribed to my channel. Really means, uh, it means a lot to me and thank you very much for watching and like always i'm seeing you in the next video